this video I will show you the basic adjustments to create sounds with the Marshall Code 100 head. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel. You find the link below the video. First of all, I give you a quick overview of the connectors, controls and buttons on the front panel and their functions. On the left side there's the input jack for the guitar and a USB port for connection to a computer. On the right we have the headphone output. If this is plugged, then no signal is sent to the speaker out on the back. Next we have the aux input, where you can connect MP3 players or other signal sources with line level. The jack below is for connecting the foot switch. We have five controls to adjust the sound of the amp model. Gain, Bass, Middle, Treble and Volume. Next to it there's the master volume, where you can set the overall volume of the amp. And this parameter cannot be stored. It is always set as the knob indicates. Above these controls you find the buttons for the individual effect sections, which also represent the signal chain. First we have Pre-FX, the effects before the amp model. You can choose Compressor, Distortion, Overdrive, auto wah or Pitch Shifter. Then we have Amp. There are 14 different amp models to choose from. Then Mod, the modulation effects, Chorus, Flanger, Phaser and Tremolo. One of them can be selected for this section. The next one is Delay. Here are the models Studio, Vintage, Multi and Reverse. The reverb section also features four types, Room, Hall, Spring and Stadium. Then comes the Power section, which simulates the sound and compression of power amps. And right next to it you can select the speaker simulation in the Cap section. There are eight different cabinets available. The individual sections are switched on and off with the buttons. When the section is activated, the LED in the button lights up. You can activate the tuner by pressing Pre-FX and Amp at the same time. Now the tuner is shown in the display and you can tune the guitar. When you're done, press the Exit Store button. All information about the current preset is shown on the display and the two controls to the right of it allow the sounds to be edited. With the preset knob you can select the presets. There are 100 presets available. The first 24 are relatively loaded with effects, so it's better to choose a preset starting from number 25. At this point you find the amp types with less effects. I take number 25, the JTM45 model and there's only amp power and cap activated. That's what it sounds like when you play it with a 4x12 cap. If you have a guitar cap connected, then you should definitely switch off the cap simulation, which only makes sense if you use the amp with headphones or via USB to record. I would disable Power 2 because the power amp simulation takes some dynamics and sound quality. And this is almost the best starting point for setting up sounds. Only the amp model is activated and you can adjust the basic amp sound with the five controls for the amp model. As soon as a knob is moved, the value is shown in the display and the current controller position is also taken over directly. Now I will add some effects and start with the reverb. I press and hold the REV button. Then the reverb parameters appear in the display. With the edit control I can select the desired reverb type. Then I press the edit button and can now adjust the next parameter, decay, which is highlighted in black. When the parameter is set, Press the edit knob again to adjust the next parameter. So all parameters can be adjusted with this one control. 
And that's how it sounds. <laughs> As a second effect, I will add a delay. I press and hold the delay button, and here is the same game. When delay is highlighted in black on the top left, I can choose the delay type with the edit control. Then press edit and set the other parameters. You can also set the delay tempo with the tap function. To do this, press mod and del at the same time and tap tempo will appear in the display. Now you can press the edit knob several times at the desired tempo and the tempo will be taken over and displayed. <laughs> At last I will add a slightly chorus effect. I press the mod button and select the chorus effect first. Then press the edit control and adjust the four parameters step by step. By pressing exit store I come back to the main display. And that's the sound with the chorus. If everything's fine, then these settings can be saved. To do this, I press and hold the Exit Store button. With the preset control, I can select another location. For example, number 30. Then I press the Exit Hold button again and can now change the name. The arrows indicate the active character. With the Edit control, you can change the character and with the preset knob, you can select the next character. When the name is entered, press and hold the Exit Hold button again and the settings will be saved to the desired location. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel.